Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I hope to unlock the ISRU units but we still need a lot of science to do that. So that's the immediate goal, wherever those are, um, over here. So I need 850 science and I'm looking to get some of that from the probes that we sent in the previous video and also from the moon lander that we are building right now. It's too bad we don't have a Minmus. Um, so we've still got the Lynx uh, whole mission being built and that's got the return capsule and the lander on the same rocket. But yeah, I, I really need a Minmus for Earth. But we have a Minmus briefly, right? We, we, we're getting a second moon sort of for a little amount of time. If only in Kerbal we could exploit that. But I don't know how much science the asteroids get, but occasionally the asteroids self-capture themselves around Earth, so that happens. Um, the asteroids are probably not a good idea to actually do anything with the Kerbal Space Program. I don't see them. Maybe that's because of our tracking station level. Let's see. I mean, what can I do to get more science that won't be expensive but will be quick? Maybe I can just make an uncrewed moon lander too. I mean, we can do that as well. It's not as much as the crude moon landers, but if we have a science junior and go to a biome we don't have, or a sample return mission with a science junior? Okay, maybe maybe I should do that thing. I haven't even unlocked a science junior, so we know we haven't done that ever. Oh, I've got the seismic accelerometer. Dynamic albedo of neutrons. Well, I guess I might as well. Um, we missed out on one instrument that I was supposed to send to Europa. I think it was a solar power particle collector. So that... Maybe I can get enough science with these other things. Though, having a science return mission would be good. Soil moisture sensor? It has a relay built in. Just something oozing with science. We've got the mobile processing lab here in theory. It's just really cumbersome to actually use it. So the problem I have here is the solar particle collector is 60 kilograms and the multi-spectral imaging platform which again is only in orbit but then we've never used it before so we'll still get new science. But that's only 20, so I need 40 kilograms more on this side. This says it can be used on the surface, so now we have 5 kilograms extra on this side. Okay, so how big is that package? 371 kilograms. Do we really need to bring all of it back though? But the biggest thing is the Science Junior by far, so uh-oh. The Science Junior is still... 0.2 tons, 200 kilograms, so there's practically no reason not to bring the rest of it back. They're all pretty expensive, too. Should I put a buffer tank in here? One of these procedural shielded tanks, just in case. So, we want to land it, bring it all the way back. Hmm. So, let's say 900, let's say 1,000 to get back. 2,200 to make orbit around the moon. So this stage will have 1,000 to do part of the landing. Okay, enable cross feed. Well, the engine has to fire first. Okay, so with that arrangement, we have an extra 1,180. What I want though, for landing, lift off, and return, is... Five thousand six hundred. So I need three hundred more. It's oh, with the landing gear, I've lost a lot of delta v. Five thousand three hundred wasn't really what I wanted. We might be able to make it work out. Getting five thousand four hundred from a single hypergolic stage is already pushing it. Technically this will work, but it's not the cheap option for science that I was looking for. But uh, maybe I should make a non-sample return version. 
just the lander that'll be smaller and quicker to get over there. Why have I got everything offset somehow? <laughs> okay. So this is just to land the probe without a sample return. And that's 61 days. Let me sort this out though. Oh, we've got parachutes still on. Whoops. We don't really need the secondary panels. Okay. So, moon. New moon science. New moon science. Alright, let's do this. I want two of them. I want to do some of that before we send the crew, so we'll have it staggered like this. And first though, we have this Vesta opportunity, so I'm going to take a look at the series flyby mission to see if we want to change anything about that to get science from Vesta. I think we can get more efficient solar panels, but let me see what power do they give? Two kilowatts each. Oh yeah, we had a, an optimal... Increasing the size of this actually decreases our delta V. But I sort of want some additional science. Well, it's weird, but I think we'll take that. Ew. Well, you know what? We'll just widen that stage. That's a lot of delta V there, 8,000. Not generally what you want to get from one stage. It's a 30, 13 day update time. We've got 12 days. Now it says ejection longitude of ascending node 176 degrees, but boy did it not work out last time. That longitude of ascending node will very little bit because we're late, but not a whole lot. Okay, going now. SAS on, throttle up, and ignition. Kerosene even. And launch. Okay, staging. Bearings. Okay, and that's good enough. 207 by 199. 6,820. Well, I packed more than her alarm clocks said anyway, so good thing I did that. It wanted 6,460. But okay, we are still okay. Okay, staging. Let's just run everything so that stuff pops out. Oh, there was something useful actually. Okay, well, that was obviously a little bit off. Let's see. Got enough to correct it. Okay. Yeah, it's super touchy. Let me just do this 150 first. Okay, and ignition. Okay, probably something big cores. It's too sensitive around Earth. This is costing a lot at that mid-course correction, considering how close we seem to be. Maybe I should do more normal. I think this radial thing is a big mistake somehow, but we have the Delta V and I've spent all this time doing it, so... <laughs> so... I'm doing it this way, but... I mean, all we need is flyby. For science. Well, that's close-ish. Let's take that. Okay. This is on its way to Vesta, finally. Okay. I will go for the moon science mission. Definitely should be daylight for this one. Or barely. It's September now. But, yep, yeah, barely. Okay. So, SAS on. Throttle is up. So just the moon science mission, 
Lander, no return. And ignition. And launch. There are a lot of biomes on the moon after all. Maybe we should send it to the pole. I'd hate to come back from the pole anyway, so... Maybe just landing it on the pole would be a good thing to do. Have to make sure to have comms though. Alright, should be through max Q. Okay, we are in orbit, though one end is really close to the atmosphere. 206, 207 by 2, oh sorry, 146. Okay, we don't need to get into any particular orbit, but I wanted to go to the pole. And this looks very equatorial around the moon. So probably a mid-course correction to give us some more inclination will be good. But I'll leave it like this for now. Well, we should be able to do some science around here. Okay, multispectral analysis at least is new. Solar particle, it's only worth one transmitting? Shoot. And ignition. Um, I'll keep the periapsis higher up so that we can make sure we have a line back, but get the... get it low on this side, close to the south pole. Not great for power, though. Now high over Earth, let's see what else we've got here. Well, multispectral gives us 7.2. Magnetometer gave us something. Solar particle is still pretty bad unless we bring them back. Okay, we are in Lunar SOI. Get some extra for the multispectral. And the solar particle. But we're mainly trying to land at a new spot. So that's the moon there. Either that or the Death Star. <laughs> Can't really tell like that. Okay, retro burn. I think I'll have this stage crash into the surface and then recover with the lander stage. Okay, that's crashing. I'm a little bit disappointed. It's clear that recovery is gonna be a big thing. I should prioritize the, the sample return mission because yeah, recovery does give a lot of value. Wait, what's that? Atkin Basin. You could try that. South Pole is a separate thing. Well, shoot. Okay, we have to find a way to get there and not lose comms. <laughs> Um, how much, how much can we go over on this side? That red spot might be able to get a line back to Earth. Or it might not. That would seem to be a good pass on that location. But will I have communication? That's the question. Okay, go, go, go. Got Delta V to spare. We can use science while we're here. I mean, little bits, but nothing big. Well, let's come around and try to land there. Communication wise. Okay, it looks like that's a direct line like that. But we don't have a lot of support from our satellites like this. When I hit the ground, is that line still going to be working? Or is the surface going to block us? I think the surface is going to block us, so... Um, I'll wait until there's a, set, uh, there's a satellite overhead at this location. Let me show all the lines. Ah! Okay, just for this vehicle though. Okay, this satellite looks like it'll be good. Well, hopefully... 
we'll still be at the South Pole there. Right now we're above Moonland, uh, Midlands. Moonlands. Well, let's make sure. All right. Retrograde. Another check up here. Oh, there's some multi-spectral analysis. In solar particle. Oh. No, let's not do that yet then. I want the surface for sure. Okay, ignition. Pretty firmly south pole now. Anything new? Nope. Multispectral analysis for the south pole. And gravity scan for the south pole is new. We are above the south pole and we're tending to land at the south pole. So this looks good so far. I forgot this engine doesn't throttle. This might be a problem. How many ignitions does it have? <laughs> 36 more. That That's okay. We are going to have to spam some ignitions. I don't need that anymore. Ah, it feels imbalanced, I think. does have this arm sticking out. I'm just gonna abuse the ignitions here. Oh, no, 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 why do you always have to tip over? <laughs> okay, all right. All right, science. All right, well, yeah, bringing it back would be much better. Uh, we will get some out of this. Seismic scan, scan is good. Even though we don't get to bring it back. Hopefully we'll get something out of this, yeah. I should have done one of those somewhere else. I brought two of those. No, oh, hydrogen doesn't even work here. Oh, it does. Well, surface hydrogen, yeah, it does, I guess. But it didn't get anything. I mean, it says scans indicate the pres presence of hydrogen just below the surface in this area, but it doesn't give me any science? That's not fair. Hmm. We do have 1,122 meters per second here. Nothing too obvious, though. I, d I think in that direction we're not going to have... Well, the, the, this ComSat is over here. Maybe if we go quickly we can get to this major crater one. Let's, well, there's no harm in trying. I don't think we're gonna get there. Yeah, we don't have enough. We might crash into it. I guess that'll be our goal. Let's try and crash into Oh, why is it not handling right? Come on. I'm gonna try and crash into that crater. See, well, multi-spectral analysis over it. Well, let's orient for litho raking. Okay, last second ignition. Yeah, well, I think it's disposed of. But the game is trying to decide. Eh, okay. Alright, back to Space Center. So I think the value for recovery for all those sciences is really high, so... I'll prioritize getting the sample return mission done. But we've got some other things that will need to be done before I can actually finish building that. Okay, so this is gonna take 102 days to build. got the science junior and everything hopefully it'll work at least it takes less time than the actual Kerbal mission um uh, let's not build this one which is identical to the one we just launched I'll just scrap that the Kerbal mission well we might as well get it done 
The sample return mission we will send later. So the first thing is this Mars lander needs its maneuver done. Oh, it's uh, entering Mars SOI, so it's not just the maneuver. We are actually going to be landing it. All right, Mars lander time. Well, we can. We, that periapsis is crashing into Mars. We don't want to do that. We need to make sure that we're on the right side for comms, which is this side, not the side we're coming on right now. And we're going to descend directly. So I'm gonna go with 35, I think will be more than enough. Without killing us, hopefully. Um, that's Mount Olympus. I'm gonna try for Mount Olympus. I doubt I'll get Mount Olympus. I mean, it's it's futile because Mars will rotate by then. But we're getting there in one day and 23 hours, so it'll sort of rotate two rotations, not quite. So, Mount Olympus will be over here somewhere. I'll try that, but that's fairly low compared to what I normally do. Well, there's Mount Olympus. Alright, so, arming parachutes. Oh, are we a little bit south this time? Oh, we're a little bit south. Oh, uh, well, it'll rotate eventually to here, but it's not gonna be there. Oh well. Only a little bit longer before dumping the stage. Darn it, it's Midlands. Ooh, that's harsh. <laughs> that was an unusually vigorous decoupler. So that's our nice line back to Earth. Should be good. Except if we land at the same biome we've landed before, it's not going to be good. Islands. Here goes nothing. Okay, slow down before the parachutes try to come out, please. Guess I can do science here. Looks good. Woo! Okay, okay, stop. It's a very light science package, just not actually much science on here. Just the very basic stuff. Temperature, barometer, gravioli kind of thing. Well, we're going to be landing at nearly 10 meters per second. That's because we don't have any landing rockets in this case. Just the pure heavy parachute method. And... Oh! 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 Okay, that wouldn't be great for Earth transmissions, but the realism overall has not figured that part out yet. Okay, seems new. Okay, well that's a little bit more science for us. I think I will launch the crude mission and then leave that as a cliffhanger. <laughs> we won't know what, what happens with it. But I'm gonna launch it now, and then we'll see what happens. Tamara, Franless, and Jedman. Pilot, engineer, and scientist. Hold on a sec. <laughs> who, who do we have all here? We actually haven't lost anybody? Val, Bill, and Bob are actually less experienced. So, I'm going to just sell, send Val, Val, Bull, and Bob. Alright. High stakes. Okay. Well, here we go. SAS on. Throttle up. Ignition. Methane engines. Looks like 16. Go. Hmm. 
We'll have to check on the ignition quality here. There's the Q penalty, somebody pointed out. I need that Q penalty to go down before I try to ignite the core. Okay, igniting the core. Okay, we got four of them. Alright, booster set. Okay, and staging. And we have two engines on this stage, which will finish this up and transfer us to the moon a la the S4B in, on the Saturn V. Okay, and shut down. 192.179. What was our scanning result for, like, ore and such? It's all down there. <laughs> the ore is apparently all down there. And that's not a place where we can communicate with Earth from. I mean, not directly. But with commsats... At the low end, this orbit would potentially cross that. But... Yeah, I don't know. But I think I'll just... We could go the other way around, though. Let me see. Well, if we want to hit that spot, this way around would be better. Okay, well, let me eject the nose cap over here. Okay, whoop. Go. Okay, I'll take that for now. Oh, no, not that. Uh, Kerbal inaccuracies. Okay. Right, well, let's get into daylight and do transposition and docking. Okay. We should have replaced the solar panels. Okay. We've connected. Um, I'll just decouple here. Wow. Okay, not the part I want. All right, now we're recharging. And all is well. All right, so they're on their way to the moon. And I will... Well, we'll find out what happens to them next time.